gonna take you to Stonehenge. Are you excited to see Stonehenge? Yeah. What are you hoping to see? Aliens. It's a secret government. Uh, Conspiracy? Workforce. Illuminati. There's actually offices under the stones. This is a Star Trek phone. Scotty, two, two, be up. Currently on the bus to get to the site. Beating busy Wisbees that we got at the Harry Potter Studios tour yesterday. Correction, that Alyssa got because she spent a hundred dollars in the gift shop. Seventy-eight three pounds. A hundred dollars. Alright guys, I'm gonna attempt to fly the drone around Stonehenge. I don't know you. She doesn't know me. But you guys do, and you all appreciate the footage, so Operation Drone Hand. Let's go. So, first attempt to try to get to an area where I could launch the drone was a complete failure. I was spotted within one minute, and I just played stupid, so. Attempt two coming shortly. As you can see, it's very, very crowded. It's extremely hard to even get a picture with the stones behind you without anyone else in it, let alone me get a nice video shot with no other people in it, but it is what it is, guys. If we're on the outside of the rope, on some tours, you can actually go inside the rope into the inside of the stones. They only do these tours and sunrise and sunset so as to not interfere with the rest of the tours that happen throughout the day. It costs a little bit more and you have to book it about three months in advance because it sells out pretty quickly. I have not done that myself, but it would be amazing. On that tour, you're still not allowed to touch the stones, but I've seen YouTube videos and pictures of people who did that tour and they are definitely touching the stones, so that would be kind of cool. If you want to get a photo with Stonehenge, a selfie like this young man is getting, this is the spot that you have to do it at because it's just way too crowded on the other side. Look how many people are over there. Everybody is congregating on that side. Very thick populace over there. Luna, tell YouTube what you think about Stonehenge. Go. I'm a little sad it's blocked off. Why, you wanted to go climb on the stones? No, I just want to go inside. Who made it? Indian? Say, <laughs> wait, where did that come from? Uh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Man, I'm so hungry. I wish I had a muffin. Did you catch it? Muffins from Jesus. I wish I had some water. <laughs> Dad, when I grow up, I'm gonna prove to you that the Earth isn't flat, and I'll take a picture of it with my cell phone. How are you gonna get that high up in the sky? Are you gonna be an astronaut? Yeah. Operation Drone Hand was a complete success. Of course, I got told off and actually, I didn't actually get kicked out. They were really polite. I launched the drone. I got minimal footage, so like takeoff, landing. I circumnavigated the stones for a little bit before uh, one of the workers came up and told me, hey mate, is no drone zone here. And I said, okay, cool, let me land it. As which I proceeded to get a few more shots like I couldn't land it faster, and then landed the drone, and now I'm out, but we successfully got drone footage of Stonehenge, and I am so happy to be able to share that with you guys. It was a year in the making. Last year I failed, but I came back. I didn't give up. I had a dream. It was a small dream, but I really wanted to do it, and I did, and I'm not in trouble, so there you go, Dronehenge. <laughs> And now I'm gonna ride the bus back to the visitor center because I have lost my family, don't know where they're at, and I don't wanna miss the bus to bath. So 
I'm gonna head that way to my best interest in classic Disney fashion. You cannot leave Stonehenge without walking through the gift shop. It's the only way to get back to the bus. You have to walk through the gift shop. How mad is that? Behind me, there's a couple things you can check out. They have some replica mud huts, which were supposedly what the workers who built Stonehenge lived in. And then over here, they have a stone. I'm assuming it's a replica from Stonehenge on a log trolley. And there's a rope that you can pull and it simulates actually pulling a Stonehenge stone. And it tells you how many of you it would take to actually pull that stone. So that's all pretty cool. And if you come here, you should definitely check it out. Unfortunately, because of Operation Dronehenge, I don't have enough time to check that out. I have six minutes to get back to the bus or they're gonna leave me here, so I gotta hurry up and get there. So I was here last year with Rosa, and it was not this nice outside. It was much colder. I wanna say it was like 18 degrees Celsius or something. It was like 60, 60 degrees Fahrenheit or whatever. I was wearing a sweater. We are on our way to go see one of my favorite places, the city of Bath. Super ancient. I love Bath. I could actually live there except for the ground is not very smooth and you guys know that I skateboard so that's not going to work out. Me and Bath, we couldn't get along but your beautiful Bath and I'm looking forward to seeing you again. <sighs> I made it back to the bus guys. Getting on the bus. I was looking for uh, our boy Leon in the white pants. I didn't see him but um, if you get a chance to do a premium tour hopefully you can get Leon as your tour guide because he's hilarious. Kills it on the mic. Yeah. Head. Oh, look, two people, but they are working. Three. Three. Oh, oh, well, they're, uh, yeah, they're up to something. They're up to something. <laughs> Very suspicious. <laughs> they ask him to do raise more money for the government. He comes up with a genius idea that if you're wealthy enough to have a building that has more than six windows, you can afford to pay some tax, <laughs> extra tax. So he was allowed six windows. Any more, you pay the window tax on each one. <laughs> so the people that didn't want to pay the tax, or the people that couldn't afford to pay the tax, simply brick them in. So the windows you're not using, we'll brick them in. And I swear not, I kid you not even, it was only abolished when a member of the opposition stood up in Parliament and said that this is daylight robbery. So that expression that we all know and use, I'm sure, comes from literally being robbed of your daylight. beautiful Bath Abbey. The Bath Abbey was built in that time. And there's a really nice just town square vibe right here. Musicians are always out here doing what they do, earning some coin, some pence, some pounds if they're lucky. And it's just extremely, extremely beautiful. It's awesome to be back in Bath. by Society Cafe in Bath. I feel it and I want to drink it. So good. Yeah? Yeah, I feel like I'm back. <laughs> right over here guys is the Pulteney Bridge. If you guys watched my bath video from last year which is linked up here I actually flew my drone under the bridge it was really cool I had planned to do it from looking at the bridge on pictures and it worked but now I'm actually on the bridge which I didn't get to do last year the Pulteney Bridge I believe is the only bridge in the world that has shops that span the entire bridge pretty cool okay 20 minutes maximum I'll be waiting for you and this is where I'm going, guys. I was suggested to check out this craft brewery by a local. It's called Beer Craft in Bath. 
and I've heard they have over 600 kinds of craft beer. So if you're ever in Bath, you gotta go to beer craft, unless you don't like beer, which, who doesn't like beer? accepted payment in beer for life. Five minutes in the paper store, guys. Feel super cool. Hold on, I was Booster triple checking. Obviously, Luna, I was just triple checking. <laughs> Look at it, guys. Guys, if you've ever been on a two week long trip with your family, understand that there's inside jokes that arise, and they've, they've been making fun of me for like the last five days. Let me see. Who is that for? For Holland? Holland, you better appreciate this <laughs> Came from Europe. You know, and you wash your like feet. This. Wash your goddamn feet, Holland. I'm not even playing. Get a pumice stone, <laughs> scrub those mother <laughs> Not allowed on my couch scrub ever those. again. Scrub those. Never allowed on the couch ever again. You got cave man, Holland. <laughs> we love you, though. <laughs> I'm not joking, guys. I might move to Bath. I could live here. It's beautiful. Alyssa, could you live here? No. Why not? Uh, so you can't live anywhere in Europe then? Nope. America for you. Yep. There's something about Europe. It has magic to it. It has magic, guys. Trust me. If you've never been to Europe, just go. Get outside of your country and realize there's more to the world than America or whatever country it is that you live in. Europe is beautiful. Sit down, my little mama. Oh my god. Frolic amongst the forest, my little child. I don't know, does five trees constitute a forest? Kids make friends so fast. Like, how come as adults, we can't make friends that fast? We have seven and a half minutes to make it back to the coach where Leon is going to ditch us. He said legit he has no power over it. They'll kick him off the curb and he will ditch us. So we need to hurry up and be back on time for our boy Leon. Thanks for uh, took a premium bus tour today. Leon was our tour guide. He crushed it on the microphone. I've done this tour before and it was way better with this guy at the helm. So I appreciate it much, man. Thank you.